welcome everybody to oh, we have a name now actually uh welcome to the l podcast n uh podcast thank you to salma for coming up with the name for that and to jazz for creating the logo as well um so i am xavier i studied history at the uni of manchester last year um and this week we are going to be talking about writing essays and assignments that kind of thing and we are joined by a current master's student at the uni of manchester who is doing political science uh joined by lily so how are you doing um hello yeah i'm doing good i've just actually been writing lots of essays um for like the past two weeks so yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so how have you found your master's course so far? Um, really intense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think master's is, is pretty intense. It's all about um, getting through it. Um, there isn't as much time to um, like, in undergraduate degrees, I think you've got like three years to like get to uh, yeah, yeah, it's like it's kind of like an all or nothing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I found that last year as well. I found that last year. Um, it's kind of like like every single piece that you do is like critical for the grade that you end up with. So you can't really like start slowly or anything like that. No, definitely not. And I think this year was really challenging. Because we started um, really late, we um, started yeah. at the end of October. So yeah, um, the pressure was on this semester. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what um, what made you do political science? That's a really interesting course to do. Okay. Um. So my um. My course is basically on public policy because there's different pathways you can take with political okay. science. Okay. Yeah and um i'm mostly interested in policy um because i'm interested in education policy um i think that there's um a lot of um things that need to change in uk sort of education um yeah that, that was like my main inspiration but also it's just really interesting because um social sciences in general i just um like i think you can always like this it's such a wide range of topics because it's about basically like our social world so like yeah everyone um tends to be interested in some way in um social sciences yeah 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 that's very true very like relevant to everyone's lives yeah definitely. so you're not a fan of michael gove then i'm assuming <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> um okay okay so like you said writing lots of essays at the moment and this podcast is going to be all about um like tips for writing essays and going over our experiences writing essays at the uni of manchester um so we have a new segment which is incredibly named first first or worst the first the first first stands for the first essay that you wrote the second first stands for first class grade the best essay that you wrote and then worst obviously the worst essay that you wrote what went wrong um so do you have your experiences your essays do you want to start pick or choose which one you want to go with and we can talk talk a little bit about that um which one do i choose i think i'll um just go for the first essay then um meaning the very first one i wrote <laughs> <laughs> i think um so that was um actually a law essay um but i never um i just i started off at the university studying law but it wasn't for me and i kind of found that out quite early on maybe like two months in yeah. um, but um so at the end of the semester i had this essay due 
and I hadn't been studying and I knew nothing about law <laughs> mm. um so I was um yeah but actually um surprisingly I got 62 so I got it to one on my first essay yeah okay and um I think that the yeah I, th I think like you know like whilst the grace was good the grade was really good like the feedback was just not good um and um Yeah, I think um, that what what made it what like how I got to one is because um, I just kind of like had a clear argument in that essay. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, I think that's what made the difference, really. Yeah, I think like that, that's always key to have like a clear argument that that you like from start to finish. Everything that you're saying is referring to that argument and proving that argument and you can't really go wrong if you do that yeah exactly um i think that's what makes it different to college essays is that um i was i was taught to um just show like both sides of the argument and then kind yeah. of in the conclusion um say what i think but with uni essays it's different in that you introduce your argument in your introduction and yeah they kind of um defend the argument throughout yeah 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 that's so true i think my first my, oh, the biggest struggle with my first essay was the referencing just like because obviously at college i think we had like one bit of coursework that we had to reference for and like the level was so low that i don't even know if i did actually reference and then got to uni and then suddenly I need to start adding footnotes into my essays and stuff like that and I'm like what the hell is going on <laughs> so I remember handed in my essay and the feedback I think I actually did quite well I think I got like 64 or something like that um and the feedback was like well clearly like you know what you're talking about but what is going on with the references <laughs> like why have you read like two books and that's it and you <laughs> referenced this completely wrong <laughs> That is so true. I think I didn't understand um, how to kind of include references in my essay until maybe like my final year because yeah, yeah, you kind of just see it as an add-on and then eventually like I think I, like especially now at master's level I understand that um, it's about like that's kind of where you the like the main part of your essay is uh comes from it's just what other people have said about it yeah um, yeah yeah for sure and then kind of arguing what like defending your argument against that yeah yeah but um yeah it was definitely a shock um just kind of like the process of it i guess what i what i learned from that was definitely that you need to like researching is like a key part of of history or any sort of essay based um assignment in uni level like the amount of research that you do which is completely different to to like to a level where you could just turn up to an exam and and get by on on your intelligence <laughs> yeah and just like what you remember from lessons yeah exactly exactly um okay okay i um will move on to my first as in first class grade um that's that's gonna get confusing over time <laughs> um okay I, I i had a couple only a couple essays in my undergrad that I got a first in. I was I was not as an ideal of a student in my undergrad as I probably should have been. But I remember I specifically remember one essay where obviously I did the research. That I, I think it's pretty impossible to get a first really if you don't prove to the marker that you've like gone out of your way to do um, like more research than you necessarily had to. Um, so that was the first key. But I think the second part that I learned was kind of taking 
into account the different perspectives, seeing how one person's perspective on the argument might frame it in one way and then another person's might frame it a different way and then kind of like um, playing all of the different points against each other and coming to a conclusion. That kind of worked really well for me. Um, just having like a nuanced understanding of perspectives, I, I guess, would be the key, my key point for the firsts that I did get. What about you? Yeah, no, that's definitely um, how you get a first from my experience as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, I'm pretty much the same. I only got like a, a first maybe like two, three times in my undergrad. But um, I don't, honestly, I don't really remember how I managed those. <laughs> 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 um, um, but yeah, I do, um, in my last grades that I got back though, I got, um, I got first, actually got over 80, which, um, wow. It's quite right, but it wasn't an essay. It was more of like a segment of an essay because uh, it was uh, only 350 words, but it still has like an introduction and conclusion. Um, and yeah, I think that one of the things that I, um, that helps as well, is just like really closely following the instructions from like the course guide that you get. For yeah, the yeah every academic is slightly different and they want you to do different things. Um, and I think it's important to just have a really clear understanding of what's expected. Um, and yeah, and also just reflecting on like the feedback you got in the past. Um, mm. um, yeah. yeah. I think one thing that just came to me now that probably would have been ideal in terms of aiming to get the best grades that you could get would be like kind of like remarking your own work before you hand it in like based on the mark scheme that kind of thing that, that. oh yeah definitely I try and keep that in mind because that yeah. again that's like in the course guide but also I think that like another point is that it's kind of like what you said about the nuance understanding it's like I kind of asked myself like is what I'm writing interesting because yeah, if I'm really point. bored, then the lecture is probably going to feel the same way. Yeah, um, yeah. It's like you need to make it like a, a really interesting narrative in what you're yeah. saying. Yeah, and I think like that's kind of where you, um, that's why your writing um, is the best, really, when you know it's you're able to kind of like develop like a more of a unique standpoint and that's not to say like you know it's something that you've never done like that's never been done before but it's something that you kind of can um put your name to and just like this is like what what I really think on this topic obviously with with the right evidence and that kind of thing but yeah yeah um okay okay moving on to worst do you have a a bad a bad experience an essay that you got back your grade and was like how did I get that, that so how did I get that grade and if so what went wrong what did you learn from that um well actually um I'm <laughs> well um I think um the worst experience I've had so far in my uni experience um was well, last week <laughs> no, okay. and I've got the grade back for it yet but um it was a 4,000 word essay okay and it was on philosophy which isn't my area but it's a compulsory course and um yeah I really struggled to just get to get to the topic and um so I procrastinated for a very long time before I started writing mm and was writing most of it the night before so it was um absolutely terrible and I think everyone has done this but it's just yeah um not recommended at all and I think that like what I learned from that is because um I'm quite perfectionist mm. 
I just couldn't start writing until I felt like I fully understood that topic, mm. which obviously it's just, yeah, it's a recipe, a, a recipe for disaster. And like, um, if you like it, yeah, you should just start writing, um, like, because you're going to have to write, uh, write it at some point. So the earlier you start, like the better, and there's no, there's no, you don't gain anything from procrastinating. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great point. That's a great point. I'm the uh, I'm the same. I guess probably a lot of people who take like essay um, oriented um, courses can probably relate. Like I'm the kind of person who t will take like an hour to write one sentence just because I want it to be perfect, and then it <laughs> takes me so long to um, when I'm in that kind of mindset. It takes me a long time to write like a whole essay just because. I want every single sentence in it to be perfect. Yeah. Um, which obviously leads to procrastination. What actually I did for my dissertation that I just handed in in September, um, one of the best things I did was um, just literally just writing, like not, not nonstop, but writing like without even thinking about it, just writing down my thoughts about the topic that I'm speaking of or like, write or just like doing like a really rough script of the paragraph that I'm writing and then you can change it afterwards that that kind of really helped me getting words down onto paper not necessarily coherent or anything like that but just writing and then kind of working it out from there that was like a change of approach that worked really well for me yeah definitely I agree and I wish I had done that because um you can always redraft and that's fine but yeah. yeah it's just really hard when you haven't um yeah it's like you don't want to be, end up in a situation where your first draft is the thing you have to submit yeah yeah because, yeah, yeah then um, you've actually like missed out on an opportunity to to go over your work and yeah, yeah exactly that I mean that that wasn't something I ever really did until my dissertation um for my master's which is crazy like from the first like three and a half years of my academic career I was I would write an essay like sentence by sentence making sure every sentence was like the way I wanted it to be and then my dissertation I just, was just writing and then like sorting it out after that which was interesting um I guess my again linked to what I was saying earlier I think my worst experience is definitely all of the essays where I just haven't done the research that I needed to do um, so like just because it's it's easy enough to read like four or five things and get a good argument out of that but then the person marking the lecturer sees that and thinks oh well this person hasn't done as much as they could have and then you just automatically get graded down because of that yeah I think um, it is possible to to kind of read too much though um i think it depends on what kind of person you are but um yeah i think um and it kind of um is related to just um procrastinating your writing as well because yeah um, yeah okay. like, it, i think it you know um like once you feel like you've read enough to start writing it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't still um still find like gaps in in your um in your research maybe um but like yeah because i think that um sometimes you feel like you have to like literally read everything that's been written on the topic and um that can like mean that you have less time to write okay yeah 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 so, yeah so we probably had different issues then <laughs> My issue was because I just I just hated I just hated reading. Yeah, that was, my, that was my problem. So I would like skim like four articles or something, and then be like, okay, well I've got a great argument here, and just write it down. And yeah, wasn't like um, yeah, wasn't. Yeah. You, okay. you just need <laughs> a lot of examples. You need a lot of examples. But but if you're an over reader, an over preparer and you just need to start writing then yeah just write yeah just, yeah just start writing and i 
also um you have to kind of think about what to read uh because obviously you can't read everything so oh, yeah, um, yeah yeah of course yeah it's just kind of like checking um the conclusion of an article can help because then that way you know uh whether it's worth reading or not oh yeah yeah for sure the amount of articles that i referenced and i read like two pages of the article is <laughs> <laughs> but like sometimes that's all you need if it's that's exactly that's all you need that's all you need you don't need to waste time like reading every page of everything that you read and if you have like a bibliography that is like full of different perspectives it doesn't matter if you've read all of them fully as long as you've got like a good collection of different perspectives then you can have like a um, a wide-ranging essay yeah definitely um okay okay well um i guess now i'll just signpost people to some of the stuff because obviously exam season assignment season we've been posting a lot of um academic support into the channel and the medium pages so i know there's um a few student um a few um student team tips um blog posts that have gone up about um exam writing and how to reference that kind of thing um so we will link to those in the post for the podcast um is there anywhere else that you generally get like support or would recommend like a student to go for for like exam or for for essay writing tips um i mean there's obviously like the my learning essentials that i think that yeah. Are helpful. yeah but um also like more specific advice um like definitely making use of um office hours of academic oh, yeah, that's a great point um, yeah i was so scared to do that at undergraduate and i'm still scared to do it now because i yeah. just find academics intimidating <laughs> but yeah. um yeah they, they can literally help you with like the structure of your essay um, which is just so useful um and yeah and obviously um like making use of um the support at university if you're really struggling um because that's that's really important there's no point yeah yeah, yeah. that's a great that's a great point I, th I think in my in my three years at undergrad i don't think i honestly ever spoke to a lecturer outside of being in a lecture or a seminar <laughs> I don't think I like reach out to any it kind of um links into what we were talking about before we started recording about um about just not feeling um like very comfortable at uni and not feeling like you really belong there so like speaking to a lecturer is like a big thing but definitely yeah. helps a lot to and it also just kind of like shows the person marking your essay that you've that you're putting in effort as well which always helps a little bit yeah yeah definitely and i have to say like um whenever i do speak to a lecturer i just feel so much better um mm. like you know it's just even having someone tell you that your ideas for your essay make sense it's just so reassuring yeah yeah for sure for sure um okay thank you so much lily for coming on to speak a little bit about your experiences at uni manchester writing essays that kind of thing um so how did you find it um good <laughs> okay perfect perfect um thank you everyone uh, i'm not sure what the topic will be next week but i will keep everyone posted and this will be going out on monday so Thank you, Lily, and speak to everyone soon.